Welcome back to Patricia's Craft Cave. <laughs> Tonight, she is going to show us how to make a pillow case. Yeah, a pillow cover. A pillow cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Claire, this one specifically is for you because <laughs> uh, you requested it. Just to let everybody else know, if you have any more requests, please drop them in the comments below and we'll see if we can get that done. So, uh, Patricia has made a lot of pillow covers, <laughs> so she knows how it's done and she's going to share that with us, which I am going to be learning as well because I have never made one. <laughs> so I'll be watching from the back of the camera here and uh, take it away, Patricia. Okay, good evening. I'm just going to move this out of the way. There that you might go. Help. That go. Um, so, we're going to start out by showing you this handy dandy cutter. So it's left-handed and right-handed. So I am right-handed. So I'm going to open this side. This side stays closed. And when you finish using your um, your rotary cutter, always close it again. They're very sharp, and it really stings when you cut yourself with them. Ow. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Yeah. <laughs> so one of my life mantras is recycle, reuse, repurpose. Yes. So right now we are using some denim material, an old pair of jeans that I, I cut. We're going to make an 18 inch um, pillow. So this one's for my sister-in-law. She loves the little red truck. Nice. I'm just going to save that for another project. And um, so I have two options. So I'm tossing. <laughs> I'm thinking. So it's going to be a 16 inch pillow. So I can either put this blue on top. That was mm -hmm. too short. But I have this uh, scrap here that I can use. And make it okay. so I made some blue lumberjack plaid pillows and I used the blue okay. but I think I'm gonna go with the red so what I do is all my scraps from old projects I have these handy dandy um, shoebox size uh, containers that you can get at uh, Canadian Tire so I sort all my colors together uh -huh. so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew this to uh, um, the denim and then cut it to size. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this over here for okay. now and I'm gonna prep the plaid. So this is all the creative process, right? Oh. I mean, you make decisions when you see things together and it's like, yeah. yeah, that looks good or no, it doesn't. Or and sometimes you just go on the fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes but, you don't plan it all. You just yeah, do it. It's just, um, happy accidents. <laughs> yeah. Almost, um, intuitive. It can be. Yeah. I have to get one of those rotary so, cutters. <laughs> yes. They are super, super handy. And, and of course a cutting mat. Protect. So it's a self-healing one. Um, once you get, um, there's actually a gizmo that you can use and um, resurface it. it like. Yeah, repurp. It just because um, you get cuts in it. Yeah. And especially if you're using um, like say fleece in that, you'll get like marks like this. Okay. And so what it is, it's it's a round tool with with a knobby handle, and you just clean it. Yeah. It, it's sort of like it. They're called self-healing. Okay. So. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. Get more use out of it if yeah. you take care of it, right? Exactly. All right. Just a little snip here. So the the lumberjack plaid is all the rage, as well as um. As the red truck, so I'm right yes. to the edge. The black here is sixteen. Measure twice, cut one. Oh, yes. So. Yeah, because you can't put it back. <laughs> no. It's not in the original way, anyway. You can sew it, but it'll look mm. crappy. <laughs> Do it right. Yay. Wow. So I didn't really show it, but there's grooves right here, so that's where you put your finger when you're cutting. For best like pressure, some people, right? um, Yeah, that are... 
Beginners, beginners wouldn't really know that. <laughs> Oh, well, you're talking to one right here behind the camera, so. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd add it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I posed my tool. Good. have a uh, handy pair of scissors here. Just to snip that corner. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And there's also a tool for, it's, um, for sharpening your blades. So these cutters come apart and you can change your blade. Oh. So you can actually change your blade and there's a, a round gizmo and you just sand it back and forth. To, oh, to, just, um, just yeah, sharpens to, it up a little. Yeah, to fix up your edges. Nice. So These are all helpful tips to save some money yeah. too, eh? And you can always uh, save your flannel. Because uh, well, a project we'll do in the future, it's called a rag quilt. And so what you do is you save your jeans, you cut them in 5 inch or 6 inch squares and um, as well as the flannel. And you sew them together like with an X diagonally across and then we sew them all together and we use the special scissors. And then when you put it in the, uh, in the uh, wash it um, looks like a rag quilt. So, oh nice. Uh, I just wanted to show you. So stay tuned for secret hidden tips Yeah, so and doing six inch squares works really good because you can get a six inch template like ruler. Yeah. So all my rulers are there. Wow. Uh, organized. I told you she's so, organized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the the tool I'm talking about. It comes oh. apart. This is for uh, the um, the smaller blade. Ooh. And you put your blade inside. And then just yeah, and then yeah, just twist it and turn it, and it gets all the burrs off of your. Nice. So we're gonna move over to my sewing table. Oh ho ho! There we go. And we'll turn Priscilla on. Ooh. Okay. Now I have to pick my spot here. There's Ooh. So the Play designer uh, diamond, um, my tray um, broke, but this would sit here on the other part of the tray. You store all your um, oh, bobbins in there. It comes nice. really handy. You can actually get, um, it's also handy to have the pin cushion. You can also get a rubber donut, and in that donut you can put all your um, bobbins. Let me just adjust things down so you can see thread, what's going on thread. here. I am going to get out of Patricia's way. Look at yeah. that thing. Oh, Priscilla is beautiful. <laughs> yes, she is. Lots of work. Lots of money, too, I suppose. Yes. Right? Original cost for um, the designer diamond was $9. Thousand. <gasps> yeah, that wow, was back really? in 2010. So, so it's way probably more now, right? Yes. Computerized, yes. Yeah. Professional but level, right? The cost of a uh, <laughs> small car. <laughs> yeah. But if you do this, right, you, you need it's certain worth, tools, yeah. right? So. Yes. And then you can get into business because this is also a an embroidery machine, so. And you can um, write it off as a business expense. There you go. You're going to do embroideries for people. And um, uh, most of the new machines are self threading. So wow. Just go like that. Come over here. Oh, man. Put it in. Why couldn't I? Look mind at that. Me? There's your thread. <sighs> Love it. But I must admit, the, the newer machines are made with um, plastic. So if you yeah. get an older machine, you're going to have like a cast iron body yeah so um less uh, they're, they're better right than the plastic definitely less chance of um i'm just gonna save this one i want to grab the bigger one you can save your um your seams as well as the bottom hem and what you can do is you sew them together and you can weave them in in a lattice which would make um, a really cool front to purse that we oh. may make sometime in the future so yes, I always yes, save yes. my scraps yes <laughs>
which is why she has to be organized because yeah there's a lot of scraps <laughs> yes that's okay you need material to be crafty so mm -hmm. so we're gonna put our right sides together and i'm gonna do a five eight of an inch seam okay so depending on your machine what you would have like. five eighth but this is more um Husqvarna is actually a Swedish machine, European, so I go with 10 centimeters. So there's a 10 right here on the plate that I can just follow. follow. And what's really cool with some of the new machines also is they have a option which is fixed. So when this is lit up, when it starts, it's going to stitch in the same place five times. But if you have an older machine, you're going to go forward and reverse. And that's oh, okay. going to keep just your... Just anchors it. Yeah, yeah, it'll keep your thread solid. So beginners would pin this. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> I do a finger pinning, like if I'm in a hurry. But later on, we will definitely use the pins when we do the um, the zipper. And then with the new machine, uh, it cuts the thread as well. Oh, <laughs> oh, it better do something for nine thousand dollars. <laughs> with the older machines, you'll have like a cut blade. So if this isn't working, then I would use my cut blade here. Yeah. So, um, just to keep it nice and solid, because it's going to be going through the um, the wash. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fraction of an inch sewing the red down to the denim. Wow, that's precise. Some people would probably iron it before they sew it, but <laughs> I tend to, um, sometimes I wing it or do a hack, so. <laughs> so that part's done, so we're going to wow. iron it and then we'll cut it to uh, um, 16 inch square. Nicely done. So now we've got our two 16 inch pieces. Uh -huh. um, the, the technique we're going to do today is to put the zipper, and we're going to put the zipper at the bottom. Okay. Some people, what they'll do is they'll do, say, maybe 10 inches and 6 inches, and put the zipper midway. Ooh. Yeah. So, we're going to do, once again, we're going to do a 5 8 um, seam. Seam. This time I'll pin. <laughs> Just, uh, sewing scissors can be a little bit finicky. So I make sure my corners are matched. I'll just put one in the center for now. <laughs> That's from uh, the iron on vinyl. <laughs> A little piece. So get rid of that, but that be garbage. Another um, trick that's handy is to get the uh, non-skid mat so you can see down here because a lot of times your foot is going to slide around oh okay and that'll keep it in there you spot. go that's a good good yeah. tip and i also have one that i usually put below my machine as well so take a look at that pen oops not feeling right 
part of the fabric folded under because it was that part of the jean. Okay. I did it just a little bit bigger than 5 8 because this is the uh, line mm -hmm. where I'm going to be putting the um, zipper. Just offset it a bit. Yeah, so it's just a little bit more than 5 8 yeah. And now what we're going to do is we're going to iron open the seam. Okay. And we'll be uh, pinning the uh, zipper to that seam. Wow. Zippers are not the easiest to work with sometimes. No. So. Trust me, I'm paying close attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, you want to make sure your tab is down. Down. Okay, to okay. the outside, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, you want to be probably at least an inch from the edge. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. we'll put our first... And so we're just pinning the um, zipper right along the edge of that seam. Mm -hmm. Take the tag off. Yeah, you kind of don't need the tag now. Yeah. <laughs> no refunds after you install it. <laughs> So this uh, zipper is actually a little bit longer than what I need. So instead of, um, usually I would end right where the metal tab is, mm -hmm. but I want to be a little inch up. So what we're going to do is we'll do a zigzag here and end it a little earlier. Okay. Modify the zipper rather than... Yeah. yeah. Questions? <laughs> my normal pesty self. <laughs> that was my husband, by the way. Anybody that watches my channel knows him. <laughs> AKA the cookie monster. Uh, man at the door, you know. So usually here is where I store Whoa. all my feet. Bob, oh, oh your feet, okay. For my machine. Yeah. And we'll put this guy away here. Good. So. You have a separate zipper fit. Yes, I do. I have two different zipper foots. So, most machines come with this type. Okay. But and but I bought this one. I like this one better. Oh. I, I call it my canoe foot. It's like oh, canoe. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see why. <laughs> so. Change my foot. Make sure the thread's out of the way that it doesn't get caught up in the. And it just clips in. Oh. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is. That is a wonderful. I'm going to open the, the zipper a bit here. That is a wonderful machine. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There. Okay. I'll take that out. And I'll make sure. When I use this button, it makes my stops with the needle down. Okay. So this part of the foot here, we're just going to line up with the edge of the, the zipper. zipper. 
So we're just gonna go so far. Okay. Then I gotta bring my foot all the way, not that far up. <laughs> Wanna keep my Get a bit done. there. And that way I can close the zipper. <laughs> ah. And, uh, continue on. Okay. Keeping it. There we go. Oh, I got a great shot of that. Wow. I said I wanted to be at least an inch away. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to turn we'll it. Turn the material. We'll just go across, put the reverse, and back again. Once again, I'm lined up with the the middle of the zipper, just going in the other direction. And keep stuff even, yeah. I'm gonna put the uh, tab down. Yeah, make sure that's still. <laughs> the other side. Here. I like that you can walk the sewing machine like it's yeah. not got to be fast and all of a sudden you can kind of go gently like okay down in out in out. See the zipper's all nicely in there. Wow. I'm just gonna trim my threads. And now I'm gonna open up the, the zipper. So I'm just gonna take my seam ripper uh -huh. and just gently open her up. Uh -huh. There we go. Nice. You can open up the seam you don't need because it needs to expose the yeah. zipper. There we go. Nice. So, Sweet. All right. Now we're just going to do the other end. Yeah, right sides together again. Okay. You know what? We're going to take a break. Before I sew this together, I need to um, get my Cricut and uh -huh. we're going to do the red truck because I oh, want to do that, while that it's flat. on before yes. I actually um, sew it. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. As you can see, Patricia has done some Cricut work on this pillow to make it extra special. Um, what the red truck that's all the rage this year <laughs> so uh, yeah she did that while it was flat as you can see I'm gonna zoom in here Wow the red material up there is sparkly Mary is in black Christmas is in green foil yeah. and the gold stars oh look at this pillow 
And of course the uh, lumberjack red is the back of it. So now we're going to put it together. All right. Let's see. There we go. Sorry for the bumping and everything, but we got to get in the right position to see this. So what are we doing? So we're just going to do um, the top seam, and then after that we'll do the side seams. But oh. Of course, before you do the side seams, you got to open up the zipper. Yes. So let's change my foot. Oh, Go yes. Back to the A foot. Yeah, yeah, or, you were. In this case, B foot. I do a lot of quilting and specialty uh, stitches, so I use my B foot all the time. Okay. All right. So. So we're doing a side seam. Whoop. It's actually the top seam. Top top seam. Yeah. And again, we're we're on the fly. We've got a couple of pins, but not a lot. Got to take them out of there before the foot hits it. <laughs> oh, it's a good idea. A lot of times your foot will go over it, but you it's, run the risk of bending your needle. The needle, yes. I was going to say metal on metal is not a good thing. But if you're really good at it, I'm sure you could figure that out. Okay. Um, secure the stitch. Okay. Wow. So we'll do just one more side, one side seam. Wow. Really love that machine. <laughs> yeah. Seeing this in work, in in actual. But there's also a uh, topaz and a ruby. Which are not as expensive as yeah. this one. Yeah, you well. You don't have to go like all out, right? Yeah. So. There's, a, I'm sure there's a lot of fancy ones out there that do different oh, features. Yeah, um, there's other makes, you know, like Faf yeah. and Janome and that. And they have their embroidery machines, but they're all about the same price. Yeah. And of course, owning a sewing store, you need to have the top of the line machine. Yes. And you're the owner, so. Yes, you have to have the best so you can show them yeah, what it can do. A lot of stores, when you invest that much money in a machine, will give you um, free lessons. Oh, there you go. So, whenever somebody um, bought an embroidery machine at my store, you would get um, 24 lessons actually with the designer diamond and with the topaz, like 12. So okay. once a month we would do a project so that you could actually practice using your machine. Oh, and all the little features and stuff that yeah. are with that machine. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so it's now, coming together. Yeah, we want to open up our zipper. zipper so that oh, um, did we? when it's time we can just turn it inside out. <laughs> or right side out. <laughs> right side about. Wow, it's all coming together in short order of time, really. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a pillow form. Actually, I can probably use another one and um, just to show. And you can buy pillow forms ready-made and... Yeah, they don't have to stuff them. Yeah. <laughs> right now they're on sale at Fabricland. They're all in Canada here, yes. Or, like, if you're going to be making a lot of pillows, you can go on Amazon and buy a set of four. Because a 16-inch pillow form, regular price is going to run you 20 bucks. But wow. if you go on Amazon, you can get four for about... 40 or 50 dollars so. so you can save some money yeah. yes awesome here we go and of course before you uh turn the pillow right side out you want to snip your corners that way you you get a um you'll get a uh, nice sharp corner when you mm, nice flip clean. it right side yeah. out yeah and of course, sharp scissors are key, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Sharp scissors and a sharp 
wheel. Kind of like a chef in a kitchen. <laughs> That's all garbage. Yay! Oh, I moved my garbage. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Over so what I'm going to do, cricket. just because the um, top of the pillow, the cotton, it's sort of a, a fine fabric. I'm just going to do an um, overcast stitch. Okay. Just quickly, just so that... Because... If the person is using this pillow cover just at Christmas and they're going to take it in and out, you might want to just do an overcast to prevent fraying. Okay. And that just kind of goes sideways. It's like a zigzag, but your, your zig and your zag each have like about three stitches. Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching the needle in the viewfinder here and yeah. it's just slow enough that I can catch what it's doing. <laughs> yeah. So that's just on the red fabric because it's yeah, fine. Yeah, uh, because it, more... it was a fine cotton. Yeah. So. Wow. Did we rip the rest of that seam for the zipper? No, we didn't. That's right. <laughs> Glad you remember. Whoops. <laughs> oh, carefully, carefully. <laughs> Shake it out. Just trying to. Turn it inside out, outside in. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. So you can use a pen or a peck um, or something. This is actually the stylus for um, oh, my computer on my machine. So that works. Just, just to use the end. Just to poke the corners into where they should be and yeah, just finish so the turn. Nice, nice, fine corner. Uh. And whoever you make this stuff for is going to be so impressed that you actually made it. Wow, that's beautiful. There we go. There's okay. the front. Merry Christmas. And then when it's not Christmas time, you can, you can just slip have it over lumberjack and just red going. lumberjack on the outside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Two in one pillows. Nice. Exactly. Yay. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. And good night, Priscilla. Oh, night, Priscilla. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, just just kicking around here and watching you do stuff, and it's like I need one of those, and I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just collect as you go. Hubby is not gonna like me hanging around with you. <laughs> She's a bad is. influence. <laughs> Hey, at least he doesn't have to, you know, yeah. when it comes birthday time, Valentine's, just yeah. make him blend something. gift card. Yeah, there you go. That there works. There you go. That works, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for this pillow cover You're lesson. You're welcome. You're an excellent teacher. You took it really slow <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of us that are just like, um, yeah. what are we doing? Mm -hmm. So, we will stay leave. tuned. So, our, yeah. our next video, we're going to make, um, I have some glass Christmas bulbs, fillable ones. So, we're just going to fool around and do a marble effect and um, put some permanent vinyl um, sayings on them. So, stay tuned. Yes. So we're More gonna, crafting to come. Yeah. All right. And Have a good evening. Yes. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. And please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to send notifications to your email inbox. 
every time I upload a video and you won't miss any more crafting videos. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.